education reform is a matter of national security. Today we're talking about Russian oil, Chinese AI, and Jar Jar Binks, aka the George Lucas effect. What does education have to do with national security? You've heard your teachers say that there are no stupid questions, but they are wrong. This is a stupid question. Do you think you can engineer javelin missiles if you don't teach people basic physics and chemistry? And more, gunpowder and missiles are not the tools of future wars. Like it or not, we are in the information age, and we will fight information wars. Yes, regrettably, still with guns and bullets, but also with data, with drones, and with artificial intelligence. We will live and die with knowledge, so teachers quitting en masse is a dead canary in the information war coal mine. Here's a book. It's called AI Superpowers by Kai-Fu Lee. He is a Silicon Valley insider who happens to be from Taiwan. He has spent as much time in California as he spent in Shenzhen. He is more qualified than you or me to make the case that... As the facts stand, China is in the lead in the AI arms race. America's military dominance is under threat and will continue to be unless we stop the bleeding out of our teachers and fix our broken education system. As we have watched the senseless death unfold before our eyes in Europe, it has become clear that Europe's reliance on foreign oil strategically weakens them, winning or preventing the wars of the future will require that we invest in energy independence. Sidebar for nuance, right? I'm ignoring diplomacy. I have just a few minutes with you. Read this if you're into that. But just as we can't engineer the next generation of javelin missiles if we don't invest long-term in education, we can't engineer the next generation of energy independence infrastructure if we also don't invest in education. China is ahead of us on this too. The world's largest hydro pump storage plant used to be in America, in Virginia, specifically Bath County. Now it's in China, specifically Fengyang. Okay, George Lucas, um, OG Star Wars, was, it, was an actual film revolution. No one had ever seen anything like the visual effects in A New Hope. It defined a genre for my parents' generation. But then in my generation, the prequels arrive. I've been wondering, what are midichlorians? And we got midichlorians and Jar Jar Binks. Nerd consensus after the postmortem was that no one was able to tell Mr. Lucas no. Normal films are collaborations and writing them requires taking feedback from people who have external valuable perspective, frickin' listening. George Lucas was so drunk on his I'm a film revolutionary power that he wouldn't listen when people said, maybe don't do that. Maybe this worked in the past, but that isn't gonna work now because the terrain has changed. This is not unique, right? Kim Stanley Robinson's Red and Green Mars are amazing. The third one is a rambling mess. Dune one and two are amazing. Children of Dune, the third one is a rambling mess. It is part of human nature that when we are surrounded by people who tell us we are the best, we become complacent. America has fallen prey to the George Lucas effect. We have spent so long on top that we have forgotten the basics. We aren't investing in teachers anymore, and that lack of investment threatens our borders more than any refugee fleeing war and violence. I live in Missouri. We have legislators trying to ban books right now. There's a lot of hot takes on Twitter about the CRT book bans. We need good guys with the books. But where I stand, legislating information away when that information criticizes America isn't patriotism. It's denial. It's the George Lucas effect on a collective scale. A collective refusal to look plainly and truthfully at America's flaws, past and present is the surest path toward domestic mediocrity. America's economy was decimated when we moved manufacturing jobs overseas. More than just the economy will be devastated if we continue to allow AI dominance and energy dominance to be outsourced. You cannot stop this with bullets or book bans. You need teachers. Stop trying to silence teachers, fund teachers. 
My name's Charlie. This is That Makes Sense to Me. Thanks for watching.